Hello guys, this is Joel from Skookum Arts, here with another behind the scenes video. This one we're going to talk about set dressing our scenes, set dressing our sets. Um, what our sets are is little puzzle locations. So we have a little puzzle here, and we got some, some ivy and whatnot over here. We got some flickering from the fire to casting shadows and stuff down here. We got a little bit of pizza some stuff moving in the background. So recently we talked about adding in this new upper rooftop area. Cause if you look at our scene, rooftop area over here, rooftop area down here, rooftop area down there. Then there's one over here that's kind of not really been finished. We just started throwing it together. Um, so we need some puzzle locations. We need some sets and that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> So let's get started. We have a few things that we have to think about when we're making a set. Uh, one being where you're coming from and where you're going. In this case, we're gonna come from down here in this area, and then we're gonna swoop up to this area, and then we're gonna swoop over that way. Meaning, when we're down here, we're basically gonna see the whole wall. And then we're gonna see some stuff back here. We're not gonna worry about this stuff back here but we do have to set dress this whole wall and not just a portion of it. And then we have to worry about how much space we need for the puzzle. How much space we need for this puzzle. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually surrounding the play area with 3D objects, in this case pipes, to give the player some feedback with our 3D invisible colliders. If we just had colliders there with nothing to hit, it seemed a little off, so we put things like trim and pipes and other things to block the signs to make it look like they're actually hitting those objects. So in this case, we're using pipes and we hook them all up in normal ways, you know, with T-joints and, and little elbows. This way, it actually looks like a little pipe system. So while it looks good uh, and it functions, we want to set dress it a bit more. Um, it just looks a little bland. So I have this natural gas meter that we kind of pre-built that we could just toss around anywhere. And we're going to actually merge this into our pipe system. And because everything's kind of gray in this area, we're also going to change the color of the pipes to be the copper pipes so they contrast a bit more. While the left half looks pretty good, the right half is actually kind of lacking. So we're going to bring in these big old cast iron pipes and try and fill in this area as much as we can to, you know, make it look more realistic and pleasing to the eye. So here I'm just kind of throwing together a shape that I think looks kind of cool and giving it some functionality with the, the lever to make it actually somewhat realistic. You know, maybe there's some kind of rooftop access here to this pipe. So you can see what I did here. Um, I used the bigger pipes to fill up this empty space just to give it a bit of realism. Like maybe there's some kind of rooftop access thing to this pipe. Um, it looks a little funky, but I like it. <laughs> um, and then if we look at it from the angle that we're going to see it, it's actually kind of cool. So we're going to leave that. Takes up a bit of wall space, fills in this area. I like it. Um, another thing that we normally do is we put in some drips. Cool. So that adds into the area, gives you a little bit of stuff to look at in the background if we play it. Let's put some color in here because it's a little gray. Alright, 
right, so we go into the play area. We got a little bit of color, so that's great. We do, however, have this little chunk of pipe that just goes nowhere. some brackets breaks up the color and we're looking good so if we're down here doing a puzzle over here and we work our way this way we have stuff to look at Let's see how it looks hey not too bad got a little bit of movement over there you can see the rain I would like actually to be able to see the big pipe from the play area so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the pipe pieces and just shove them over. Cool. I like it. It's got more of the red over on it. Well, that's about it. Just a little bit more set dressing back here. And probably some trash and stuff on the ground. And this area is good to go. So this has been another behind the scenes video. This one was about set dressing. Thank you so much for your continued support and we'll catch you in the next video.